Hi, this is John Polgreen with Architecting the Enterprise. Today I'd like to speak about Archimate, the modeling language developed specifically for enterprise architects. So why do we need a new modeling language? Languages like uh, UML and uh, BPMN have been very useful for years for specific applications, specific uh, business processes, etc. Uh, but they are very detailed and uh, very granular. They don't scale uh, very well to enterprise architecture. Also, uh, because of the detail, the learning curve is very high for someone who really only needs uh, the highest level of the language. So Archimate has been designed to be lightweight and as scalable as possible. So our key challenge here is to capture both specificity uh, for language in individual architecture domains and have a very general set of architecture concepts. So here you can see we start at the top of the triangle with very generic concepts, and then we can move lower into those that uh, describe enterprise architectures, and then even further down to describe uh, domain and company-specific concepts. So the most uh, important restriction that the uh, um, Archimate designers placed upon themselves was that it should be as small as possible and very usable for most uh, EA modeling situations. So Archimate has been limited uh, um, so that it will suffice for 80% of practical cases. That's using the uh, um, famous 80-20 rule. Archimate defines three main layers. The business layer, the application layer, and the technology layer. So the company Park Assurance, if we're looking at the uh, left-hand uh, uh, example here, is modeled as a business actor composed of two departments. And you see that the notation is a stick figure, uh, which is also used in uh, UML. Uh, the travel insurance seller role is assigned to the travel department. And you can see that... Uh, um, assignment relationship is aligned with the two dots at either end. The uh, um, travel uh, department uh, is assigned uh, to the takeout insurance process. And, and that process, as you see, has the uh, arrow uh, representing it. Uh, this process offers a service offering travel insurance. If we take the other example, we're actually decomposing that same process, take out travel insurance, uh, and uh, um, we have uh, uh, each sub-process uh, triggering the next sub-process. Uh, and the event request insurance triggers the first sub-process. And the, you see the, the little... Uh, um, arrows with the uh, um, filled in arrow tip, those are triggers. Uh, a particular role, insurance sellers, is assigned to perform the work. And the process realizes a takeout insurance service, which is made available by interfaces, uh, um, web and telephone. In the application layer, 
we can take a look at the example on the left. On the left bottom, if we see the um, accounting application component, you'll see the notation is the same as in UML. Uh, it is assigned to the accounting function, which is uh, uses the notation of a chevron. This accounting uh, function realizes the transaction processing service, application service, which is assigned to the transaction processing API, which is an interface. The transaction processing service is used by the billing function, which is assigned to the billing application component. This billing function realizes the bill creation service, which is assigned to the billing screen, which is an interface. In the other example, to the right, the accounting component and the billing component work together to form the transaction administration collaboration. The two uh, circles linked together are the collaboration notation. And the uh, diamonds uh, with the uh, uh, lines attached are the collaboration relationship notation. This uh, um, collaboration is assigned to the administrate transaction interaction. So here in the uh, technology uh, layer, uh, we've got on the left, we have a number of servers, uh, uh, which are uh, devices. Uh, they, they look like devices, obviously, are interconnected through a, uh, a LAN. And then the right hand uh, is a, uh, 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 at the bottom, the uh, um, three-dimensional box is a node, which is a database uh, a management system. And it performs two infrastructure uh, functions. You see the chevron uh, uh, in the two boxes uh, um, is the function notation. Uh, and then uh, um, this, uh, the left one uh, uh, providing data access function uh, uh, realizes a data access service. And then the other one, uh, managing data, uh, realizes a data management service. If you look at this uh, diagram to the far right, you'll see the Archimate core. This is what helps us model the business architecture the information systems architectures, and the technology architecture of the TOGAF architecture development method. We can also add the Archimate motivation extension, which also uh, uh, enables us to model the preliminary architecture vision, requirements management, and architecture change management phases. Adding the implementation and migration extension down to the uh, bottom left enables us to model opportunities and solutions, migration planning, and implementation governance. This means we can take the architecture all the way through its life cycle from its uh, motivation uh, through uh, developing its uh, um, logical architecture, and then through to um, migration and implementation of the final architecture. Go to our website to see our online and instructor-led Archimate courses. Here are the, some of the topics that are covered in detail in the course. So keep in touch 
We'll keep you up to date on uh, new developments. Uh, sign up and see uh, what's coming. You can also subscribe to the Architecting the Enterprise YouTube site.